Okay, this is Hole's Anatomy. This is uh, part one, so we're talking about um, types of muscles, uh, first in part one here. So uh, we're basically talking about the uh, muscular system creating movement, so whether it's internal organs or your skeleton um, or even your heart, I suppose. So three basic types, skeletal, cardiac, and smooth muscles. Uh, they're all elongated, a muscle cell is also called a muscle fiber, that'll be important here uh, soon. And then uh, inside the muscle are teeny tiny proteins called microfilaments, or sometimes also referred to as myofilaments, and you'll see more of that later. Those are the things that are actually doing the moving to allow a muscle to flex or contract. And when we say contract or flex, if a muscle is this long at, uh, when it's relaxed, it contracts and shortens, that's contraction, and then it relaxes back to the same distance. And when you stretch a muscle, just so you know, you can't stretch it beyond that point of relaxation. That would be called tearing it. Um, so myo means muscle, you might see that. Mis means muscle, and sarco means flesh, but it always is in conjunction with muscles. Here we have a muscle. Any idea what type it is? Take a pause. Think about it. You're not thinking hard enough. You should know. Okay, no, you don't. These are skeletal muscles. Uh, skeletal muscles are attached to the bone by tendons. Uh, they're multinucleated. Here you can see lots of nuclei in one cell. This is potentially one cell. Um, they're multinucleated. Uh, they're striated. They have visible banding patterns. So these lines that you can see there are the striations. Um, and then they are voluntary. You get to choose when to do this. That's entirely up to you. Or when to do this. Because you control all those muscles. Those are skeletal muscles. Um, and we'll see here shortly also that these muscles are surrounded by connective tissue. Um, what kind of connective tissue? So uh, here is a muscle. You see it attached to it, uh, the bone by this tendon. Um, here we have a single muscle fiber. Okay? Um, and Multiple muscle fibers, or myofibers, this is a muscle cell, connected together make a fascicle, okay? And multiple fascicles come together to make a muscle. Now, this muscle fiber is wrapped in endomycium. MYS means muscle again, endo is inside. So endomycium is the wrapping around one muscle fiber. And then all these muscle fibers together again in a fascicle, and that, that wrapping is called the paramycium. Okay, it's a bundle of muscle fibers. The epimycium is out here, epi on top, uh, covers all the uh, fascicles together. Um, and then on top of the, or part of the epimycium is the fascia, uh, which is a funny name because I used to play volleyball when I was younger with a guy named Fascia. I know, I don't know why his parents named him that either. Uh, on the outside of the epimycium it, is this connective tissue, this fascia. Um, and so it that's what the epimycium blends into, this connective tissue, um, which then makes up the tendon. It's the cord-like uh, structure. And then we touched on it previously, aponeuroses, this sheet-like tendon. Uh, they're not very well vascularized like other uh, tendons are, but they're called aponeuroses in your head, in your, in your abs, and so on. Uh, where can muscles attach? They can attach to bones. They can attach to cartilage and even uh, connective tissue coverings. Here's the next one. What type of muscle is this? Well, it looks like this crazy sheet, looks pretty confusing, that's because it's smooth muscle. You don't notice any striations whatsoever in that. Um, uh, you'll also notice that the cells, at least in this picture here, it helps, are spindle shaped. Okay, they're involuntary, you don't get to control them, you don't get to choose when your stomach squishes and squashes to digest food. Um, and they're found in the walls of hollow organs. So if this is the stomach, here they're found in the walls, where this is the lumen or the space, and this outside is connective tissue and so on. The third one is cardiac muscle. This totally looks like a heart, so you can easily tell that, right? Uh, cardiac muscle doesn't have any striations. It usually only has a single nucleus, and they're connected one cell to the other through intercalated discs. These are electrical connections, so that when one muscle cell gets stimulated to contract, that message spreads very quickly to all the other ones that are connected. Uh, it is involuntary. Fortunately, you don't have to think to control your heart. Beat. It's only, uh, and it's only found in the heart. Beat! I'm trying to tell my heart to push my blood around my body. Here's all three of them together. You need to be able to identify the differences, of course. Uh, last one for part one, the function of muscles in general. Of course, to produce movement, to maintain posture. Sorry, my posture was bad. I should sit up straight. Uh, to stabilize joints. Um, so, for example, uh, if you damage the ligaments in a joint, 
you don't have to get them repaired if you don't want to. The joint will still be held together because there's muscles going all over it, uh, maintaining it. And in fact, at physical therapy, they would make you build those muscles stronger. They would work on that. And the last function of muscles is to generate heat. I'm so cold. Okay. And on this note, we will stop. <laughs>